open as well. Blackman the Traveller. So guys, basically, yeah. I've came to Somaliland and I'm gonna tell you basically, um, misunderstanding. I never had a, oh, is it locked? Oh, fuck, it's locked. Yeah? Locked? Okay, thank you, no problem. I stay here. So anyway, guys, basically, um, I've been rejected. So things happen. Okay, thank you, thank you, no problem. So basically, guys, I've been rejected um, in Somaliland and uh, we've came here. We never had a letter of invitation, things happened, you know, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain to you guys in fully detail the requirements that you need here in Somaliland, um, to enter Somaliland, what the guy's taking a photo, as you can see. I'm going to show you guys that I'm actually in Somaliland, so you can, so you can actually see that I'm not lying. Yeah. The largest network in Somaliland. So we're here. So basically guys, I'm going to continue this journey, this video. Once I leave, I'm going to book a flight to leave because I entered, I entered illegally and I don't want to get arrested. I'm with my travels over here. Things happen, we learn, you move, you grow. So guys, when you come to Somalia, make sure you've got the right documentations. I'm sorry for everyone that was looking forward to this video. My travel to Somalia, but anyway, I'm going to continue the video as soon as I leave. See you soon. I apologise. So, I'm booking my flight right now. As you can see, I'm going over here and I'm booking my flight to get a new flight. So, my expiry date. So, I need to book a new flight. My friend! So, I'll continue my video once I book my flight and then I'll see you soon. Right, guys, I've, um, I've got a flight. I'm going to show you. Uh, this is how much I paid. I paid up. $1,241 Then I'm going to show you um, in the bin section oh, Where is it? Shit So as you can see, if you can't see I apologise but I'll make the video again So this is my new flight, Heregesa, Dallas Ababa, Istanbul, London So basically guys, they're not letting me in the country Things happen, you know, things happen for a reason So they're not, they're not, they're not going to let me in the country So I'm in the airport right now, getting another flight to go back to London um, Like I said, we messed up we should have had a letter of invitation, which we didn't, and things happened. So that's the airport you can see over here. Everyone's here chilling. Myers is there. So I'm going to continue the video once I sort out my flight. Myers has got a flight. My flight's not printed out yet, so it is what it is. Worst situation ever, guys. So basically, I've got my... I pay for the flight, but I don't have my email yet so far. I don't have my ticket number. And this is what's happening over here, guys. This is what it says over here. But I still... I still haven't received my email for my for my for my flight, but the the flight has been on hold. They've taken the money out of my bank, which um, which is I don't know, man. So as you can see, look, that's how much the money's been taken out over here, one thousand thirty-three pounds. But still, no email, nothing. So I'm just sitting here wasting time. It's one of the worst experiences ever. Um, I don't know, man. So I've been rejected, and. I, I have a flight that I don't have a ticket number so it's one of those situations where it's out of my hand and I don't know what to do I'm in a country illegally um, it is what it is should have stayed in a hotel should have got a reservation in a hotel but we decided to get Airbnb which I don't know if that makes any sense but it is what it is so let's hope I get my ticket let's hope I can leave Somaliland and uh, let's hope I'll I'll be able to travel freely. So right now I'm stuck in a country that I can't get out. So I'm waiting for my flight to come, my email. So it is what it is.
What's going on guys? Hope you guys are okay. Just landed in the UK and I'm gonna explain to you guys um, my situation about what happened to me in Somaliland. So let me get my bus. I think it's... Ooh. Hello. Um, yeah. Thank you. Right. Getting to Stratford, so I'll let you guys know what happens. Hello, guys, I'm back in London. There's a lot of misunderstanding of what happened to me in, in Somaliland. So right now I'm back in London and um, it's been very interesting. I'm gonna explain to you what happened to me in Somaliland. But uh, basically, I've got a meet Time London in London. Very interesting, Time London in London. This used to be top man, now it's called Ikea. Look at that. So we've got an Ikea store in central London. Very interesting. So basically guys, what happened to me in Somaliland is um, it was very misunderstanding. We entered the country, me and Myers, and um, we never had the right documentation. When we entered the country in Somaliland... Hello, you all right? You okay? <laughs> Welcome to London, you all right? Where are you guys from? Oh, Spain. Hey, hola, hola, hola. Como estas? Todo bien? Quantos, quantos días or quantos semana uh, semana acá? Cuatro días. Cuatro días. Te gusta Londres? Yes. Tranqui? Ahora muy frío, no? <laughs> okay, um, I'll give you a business card. Yo el youtuber from Londres. That's my card. If you scan the card, the QR code, it's my YouTube channel. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias, yeah? Bye. Enjoy bye. London. <laughs> Got some cool Spanish kids over here. Wow. So basically, we never had the right documentations, um, me and Myers. Um, to enter Somaliland. So that was a bit of misunderstanding. And basically guys, when you go to Somaliland, make sure you got the right documentations. Don't be scared um, to go to Somaliland. It's not as dangerous as what you think it is. That's the most important thing guys. So when you go to that country, don't be scared. Make sure you got the right documentations. Make sure that um, when the people do stop you, um, you know how to speak to them. So we entered the country thinking we're gonna go to Somaliland for four or five days and we're gonna make the right content. But, Little did we know is that um, our letter of invitation was not valid. Mai's booked to Airbnb. I double checked with him and I said, bro, we're going to Somaliland, man. We're going to Somalia, Somaliland. Make sure you got the right documentations, man. Are you sure? And he was like, yeah, bro, it's okay. Blah, blah, blah. Um, one second, I'm just texting Time London to make sure I'm here. You can see it. So I said to him, um, make sure we've got the right documentation. He's like, yeah, bro, no problem. Uh, I've got the right documentations, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, um, we didn't have the right documentations. And then they were asking us, why you come to Somaliland out of all places? Why Somaliland? Um, what's so interesting about Somaliland? And then we explained to them that we came here um, to do some filming. We came here to promote the country. But right now I'm in Oxford Circus. <laughs> we came here to promote the country. And then they were like, okay, um, do you have a letter of invitation? We said yes. We showed them a letter of invitation and then they said to us that this letter of invitation is not valid. 
they said to us that lip invitation is not valid. You need to have a proper lip invitation um, through a hotel. But we didn't know that the Airbnb lip invitation is not going to work. So after negotiating and speaking and speaking and speaking with people, um, we managed to negotiate. And then they said that you can stay in the country, but you need to show us your document. You need to show us the footage of what you film in Somaliland before you leave the country. I said, no problem, no issue. I'll show you all the documentations. I'll show you all the, all the content that I'll show you before I leave the country. So they said, listen, before you leave the country, you've got to show us all the videos and you've got to come three hours before um, you leave the country. I said, no problem. So we're just about to get in and then they changed their minds again. Then they said, no, you can't do it. Um, you can't stay in the country, you need to leave. So I bought a flight ticket to leave Somaliland. And then um, when I bought a flight ticket, you guys, are, you guys camera sky? Sorry? Are you guys camera shy? No, I don't you say hello to YouTube? Oh, go on. <laughs> Big up. <laughs> we got the road youths behind me. Yeah, London. So they were like, yes, um, you need to leave the country. So I booked a flight ticket. And then after, um, I was shitting my pants. I'm not gonna lie to you. But they gave us food. They gave us some nice salmon and some nice rice. Oh, some nice tuna, some nice rice. And then they go a bit, right, you gotta leave the country. Um, you can't stay here, it's illegally. So I booked a flight, the first flight never worked. I got the receipt and then it was very complicated and I booked another flight and then that managed to work. But anyway, guys, that was my, um, my experience getting detained in Somaliland. So I'll just say to you guys, when you go to these countries, understand that you need to understand the rules and regulations. We were not prepared. We never had the right documentations, so that was the L that we made, that was the mistake that we made, and things happen, you move on. Am I going to go back to Somaliland? Yes, I am. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like this type of consequence to say that Somaliland, oh, they're racist, it's because I'm black, they're, they're black just like me. If this was another country, I wouldn't even say that, oh, they're racist, I got denied entry because of this, because of that. No, guys, you've got to be real, you've got to be authentic, and you've got to speak the truth. I got denied entry because I never had the right documentations. Put it as that. I got denied entry because I thought I had the right documentations. Put it as that. So it's just a learning curve. That's the first thing, guys. It's a learning curve. You learn, you grow, you move on. Um, while all my Somaliland people, uh, all my Somalian people, I will be coming back to your country to film very soon. But right now I'm in London and um, it's cold, it's chilly, everyone's confused. There's a six foot two black guy holding a camera in the middle of the city and that's everyone here. So anyway, guys, that's just me explaining um, what happened and my situation. I'm waiting for time in London. I've got no idea where he is. I've got to, I've got to check my phone. But um, that's about it. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, explaining in detail. Um, normally, you get visa on arrival for Somaliland. It's 25 pounds. Uh, normally, you do get visa on arrival. It's 25 pounds, and basically. I never got the visa on arrival because I never had the right documentations. So basically, make sure you get the right documentations. Make sure you got um, cash as well. You got dollars or pounds sterling when you enter Somaliland. It was a bit fragile. There were certain things happening, but I didn't know. I was not aware. Obviously, through politics, I don't get involved in politics. I'm not a politician. I've never voted in politics. I never will. I don't get involved in whatever's happening in certain countries. I just go to film and show you guys the reality. I'm not here to do journalism. I'm not a journalist. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video explaining in full detail um, what happened and the procedures that you need. Anyway, it's Blackman the Traveller. We're in London, London City, chasing Lizzie, and everyone looks quite busy. I should be a rapper, but look, that's what it is, my surroundings, and I'll see you soon. Blackman the Traveller, take care. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Comment, like, and subscribe, all of that. If not, don't comment, like, and subscribe. But tell a friend to tell a friend. See you soon. Hello. See you soon. Let me just get the people around me, walking around. It's the life.